Welcome to Bizjet TV, my name is Fabrizio Poli and today's episode we're going to be doing something that I haven't done much on the channel here but Paddy Mal, one of our fans over in Singapore has suggested that I compare the Phenom 300 to the Pilatus PC24. Now as I've always said here, um, when you compare two aeroplanes it always depends on who you're comparing the aeroplane for. So what I'm going to do today on these two aircraft, we're just going to look at, you know, cost, fixed cost, operating costs, performance and that, and, and talk about what type of person would go for Phenom 300 and what type of person would go for Pilatus PC24. Because don't get me wrong, they're both excellent aeroplanes, very well built, uh, very nice to fly and everything, comfortable for the passengers. But there's a few pros and cons, uh, but it will also depend on your requirements and your needs. So let's have a look. Uh, first of all, we look at uh, the fuel burn because fuel is something that's on everybody's mind especially these days with the price of fuel at the petrol pump going up every day um, so is the price of jet alpha one which is the fuel that jets use so uh, right now uh, we're calculating uh, at four dollars 25 a gallon that's kind of average around the world right now um, it does vary of course uh, and as you can see the pc24 uh, burns 160 gallons an hour while the Phenol 300 185 gallons an hour. Now on the fall of Phenol 300 the figures I'm using are for the 300E not for the 300. Uh, there's not much difference uh, but just to, uh, um, to give you an idea. So if we're flying for an hour it's $680 an hour is what's going to cost you to fly the PC24 fuel wise and it's going to cost you uh, $786.25 to fly the Phenom 300 per hour just on the fuel. Now if we look at the variable costs, which are things like fuel and maintenance and, and a few other things, uh, it's $320,000 a year for the PC24 and $339,000 a year for a Fina 300. This is if you fly 150 hours. So I've taken the figures for 150 hours. So as we see, the Fina 300 is a little bit more expensive on the variable cost. On the fixed cost, such as, you know, hangar age, pilot insurance and that, it's $252,000 a year for the PC24 and $256,000, so just slightly more for the Phenom 300. So when we add uh, these figures together for 150 hours a year, overall the cost to operate a PC24 um, and, and have a PC24 is going to cost you $572,000 a year. And the Phenol 300E is going to cost you $595,000. So it's not much difference. We're talking about $23,000 difference between the two. Um, now, um, if you want to buy these aeroplanes uh, on the pre-owned market right now, there aren't many available. Um, I mean, on the PC24, there's only one <laughs> available at the moment. Uh, but I'm sure by hunting around a little bit, there's probably a another one or two. You can buy one for anywhere between $10 to $11 million dollars. That's kind of the price uh, right now. Um, on the Phenom 300, uh, between the 300 and 300E, there's about eight for sale. And the prices range from six to 10 million. So basically, if you want to buy one of these two aircraft and you don't want to spend too much money, it's going to be cheaper to buy a Phenom 300. There are more available on the market, um, while the PC24, uh, a few less. Now, if we look at performance, um, now the Pilatus uh, has a slightly bigger cabin than the um, the Phenol 300, but if we look at the avionics, and this is from a, if you're a pilot owner, okay, the Phenol 300 avionics are a lot easier to use than the Pilatus 24. The PC 24 avionics are based off of what the the, the new avionics on the PC 12. Uh, a number of pilot owners, which aren't professional pilots, have complained it's taking them a while to get their head around the, the way these avionics work. Uh, while the Phenol 300 using Garmin, very easy to use. Very simple, same avionics that's on the Honda Jet, for example. Uh, so, you know, from that perspective, I'd say the Phoenix 300 is easier than the PC24. But the PC24, performance-wise, as far as runway is concerned, you know, takeoff distance, landing distance is a lot better than the Phoenix 300. Also, PC24 has the ability to land on grass or unpaved runways, which you can't do with the Phoenix 300. Um, so you've got to uh, factor that one in. Speed, they're pretty much the same. Um, other advantage of the PC24 is the cargo door. So if you are um, going to be transporting bulky items, then that lovely cargo door at the back, and you, know, you can check my video uh, on the PC24 uh, when I had a look at one uh, the other week, um, and you can see the, the, the cargo door and you know, how big it is and that. Now, a disadvantage of the PC24, and this is where a lot of owners have complained, and you can see my video on the PC24, you can see the uh, toilet is at the front of the cabin as you come up the stairs, and it, there's a bit of a, a thing you got to 
uh, like two doors you've got to close around the toilet if you have to go and do your business while on the Phenom 300 you've got you know you go at the back of the airplane you go through a door you shut the door it's a nice flush loo there um, and you can do your business in total privacy so that's kind of um, advice so I'd say you know if you're looking for a bigger cabin you're looking for to, to transport bulky items and you have to go in and out those you know those short fields or unpaved runways then and you're not a pilot owner then the PC24 will work um, otherwise I'd say go for Phenom 300 uh, range wise we're pretty much there it's about 1900 to 2000 nautical mile range so the range is about the same but I would say that you know Honda Jet with their new Honda Jet uh, concept, the Honda 2600, is going to be a, a contender in this race between these two aircraft, uh, between the PC24 and the Phenom 300, uh, because having a bit more range in the cabin and that, so check my video out on the Honda Jet 2600, because that's going to be an interesting one. But right now, between the Phenom 300 and the PC25, as I said, both good aircraft. Uh, the Phenom 300 is made in the United States, uh, while the PC24 is made in Switzerland. Uh, there are more Phenom 300s out there on the, on the market. Um, and also recent orders by NetJets uh, of, of bringing uh, the guys at Embraer to increase their production rates. While uh, on the Pilatus front, they refuse to manufacture the aircraft outside of Switzerland. So they're only limited to about 90 to 100 a year they can build. So there's a limited supply of the PC-24s. But don't get me wrong, great aeroplane built in Switzerland, solid. It uh, doesn't break very often. Um, Pilatus have a good support system as well around the world with dealerships and that. So if your aeroplane does break down, they do get it fixed very quickly. Um, Phenom 300 again support system on the maintenance front uh, for the Phenom 300 is very good which is why it's the most sold private jet out there so you know both good aircraft it depends on your requirements but if you want to have a chat you can ping me an email and uh, we can talk more about what your needs are and see which of these two is the best fit for you uh, as I said there are some on the market right now but there's also a lot of these deals get done off market and that's why you should use a professional that you know has the databases and the contacts with owners to find you you know some other options out there besides the ones that you can find on the usual websites by googling phenom 300 or pc24 well that's all from fabrizio poly on this episode of bizjet tv remember to check out the video on the honda jet 2600 and that's all from me on this one and i'll see you in the next one bye